What's up squad? I'm Trey and welcome to the Daddy C channel. Um, if it's your first time stopping by and checking us out, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do us a quick favor, hit that notification bell down below so you can stay on top of our content as we drop it. And if you've been here before, appreciate all the love and support. On our way to 5K, thanks for sticking around, checking out and vibing with us here or on YouTube as well as on socials, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, at Real Daddy C. Um, today's topic I want to get into is really something that, you know, just has really been kind of just kind of sticking in my head since Mamba Day. All right. We're going to talk about a shoe that came out that is tied into the Kobe lore. You see my T-shirt. I'm a huge Kobe fan. If you've been here on the channel, you know, we are big in the Kobe, uh, big in the Kobe sneakers, been a collector of his for a long, long time. And I just want to talk about the Air Flight Marachi uh, that came out this past August in the Lakers PE colorway because I just got some things to say about this shoe, about the release, and about how this shoe moved. All right. So with that said, it's a beautiful shoe, right? And right now we've got this thing where the Kobe love is out of control. As soon as the shoe drops, right, it's been so hard to get a hand on. Um, RIP Kobe, you know, since everything happened, I haven't been able to get my hands to touch a pair of new Kobe's that have dropped. Um, but I will say with all the, the, the lore and all the story, you know, leading up to all the line of Kobe sneakers, this was a pair that was really influential and instrumental in his sneaker lineage, so to speak, right? So this pair is, you know, the Air Flight Hirachi. He wore these before he wore the 2K4 Hirachis that, you know, became like the Kobe One. And um, this was actually in the interim between him leaving Adidas and signing with Nike. So, you know, when they say that, when, they, when I saw that this shoe was coming out, I was like, man, this is a pair that I gotta have. You know, because of that, we got the Lakers colorway um, that's never been released before. These again were a PE. Um, the Air Flight Hirachi made popular by the Fab Five, you know, Michigan, Chris Webber, Juwan Howard team. Um, back in the 90s, you know, this shoe came out in 1992. Um, this pair, Kobe Wardy's in the 2003, 2004 season. And I remember when he wore them, man, and it was like, these were dope, dope, dope colorway. Um, he did wear them with white socks, which, uh, you know, I would have preferred black socks when they when he wore those um, with these because they're so dope. But then, then with the, the windows and everything, black socks really set these off. But in any event, I'm just really trying to understand, you know, people that want stories, that want shoes that tie into, you know, OG releases and things that the players wore, right? Michael Jordan is everything OG for a lot of people. You know, we just saw the playoff eights just drop, you know, even Chicago twos, you got, you know, all of these OG colorways that come out and people like these are a must, right? You got the Cherry 12s coming out later this year. Um, these were a PE nonetheless, right? PEs are super limited, exclusive, so hard to get. And then they dropped them as kind of a general release, you know, this, this past August, you know, right in time for Mamba Day, 824 and all of that. And um, I don't know, I just didn't see the love for these. You know, is it me or I don't know, or is it just about it's limited, it's worth some money, so everybody goes after them, right? Like even the Kobe Halo 8s, um, as much of a, a lover of Kobe shoes I am, you know, I didn't love those because it's just an all white, completely white shoe. And that's just not my jam and shoes in general. Um, I would have took a pair, you know, taken a pair because I like them in the collection for my Kobe collection and things like that. But um, I'm just curious, man, like, is it just me or is the love kind of just built on different things? Not that people don't like Kobe, don't love Kobe. But when it comes to the sneaker, a shoe like this drops and people are just like, eh, you know, kind of yawned. I mean, I know people that are like Kobe lovers, supposedly, and these were definitely not on their list. Or is it just, they're just too many drops. And then these came out and it became like a non-essential kind of pair. I'm just curious, you know, please chime in. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you cop these, whatever the case was, um, I dig them. I mean, these were, you know, the Hirachi, Air Flight Hirachi are just a comfortable, comfortable pair. You know, Tinker Hatfield, you know, of course, design. Um, he brought this neoprene kind of material to the, the, the air flight, the, to the Hirachi in general, um, because he was inspired by wetsuits and, you know, surfing and things like that. And said, so let me bring this neoprene to a basketball shoe. And you put these on, man, it's that inner sock, like just snug, snugly hugs your foot. 
he brought that same technology to you know Air Jordan 7s kind of around that same time um, and then Hirachi came out and everything as well um, just a dope shoe man dope 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 shoe I love the colorway and again I know this dropped you know a couple months ago but I just felt it was needed to do like a rewind because I felt like it didn't get that much shine I didn't see a ton of YouTube reviews um, I don't see people you know kind of flexing these and meanwhile I love them man they're gonna be you know on Instagram on foot make sure you tune in look out for some pictures you know some outfits things like that um, I got the Kobe you know some, some bunch of Kobe shirts and things like that that I can definitely wear with these shoes but um I just wanted to chime in man to see what y'all thinking about these I love them rating wise for me I mean these are probably a 9 9.5 I mean the fab 5 colorway the white uh, that white and like kind of bluish purple I probably rate those about the same they're kind of equal but this one again being a PE was you know one of those ones we couldn't get our hands on because it was only for Kobe you know for players and um, now that we got them you know it was a must cop for me but dope shoe dope shoe just wanted to drop this quick video um, I miss you guys I've been busy been a lot but i got a lot of stuff in store here in the lab we're gonna have some some videos dropping real soon um so just stay tuned stay tuned here on youtube uh stay tuned on the socials at real daddy seed across the board that's instagram twitter tiktok all of that stuff and i will see y'all on the next one peace